Hello everyone and welcome back to Anxious Beauty. Today we are going to be trying on and reviewing the ColourPop's Fade Into Hue eyeshadow palette. Let's get started. Alright guys, so like I said, this is going to be a review of the eyeshadow palette Fade Into Hue here. We got all the color names on the back here, but I believe they're on the palette as well. Um, I've heard real good things about this, so I'm excited to try this out finally. This video is not sponsored in any way, it's just me and my opinions. I already have my eye primer on, so we can just jump in and get started. Um, I plan on doing a rainbow eye look today because once you guys see this palette, you know why. Take it out of the packaging here. Maybe. There we go. All right. So this is what it looks like outside of the packaging, or the box there, very pretty colors on the packaging. Feels nice and like smooth, if that makes sense. Ooh, okay. So it doesn't have a mirror in it, which I mean, kind of stinks, but that's all right. We can deal with it. And look at all those colors. You guys know I gotta do a rainbow eye, right? Um, so yeah, like I was saying, it has all the names listed in front, which is cool as well. You got your choice between mattes, shimmers, and pressed powders in here as well. Let me take off my glasses here. All right guys, so I think the first color I am gonna go with, let me get out a brush here. I want to do like one side like yellows, pinks, oranges, that kind of thing. And then on the other side, I kind of want to do like a green, blue, purple type of situation. So, cause I want to use as many colors as I can for you guys. And mainly what I'm looking for is pigment and like blendability. So I'm going to go in with this little ColourPop brush here. And the first thing I want to do is we will start with pink here. And we'll go with this one right here called Atelier. Atelier? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But this one right here. Now that does have some shimmer in it. Ooh, that looks pretty. Let me get out my mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. And I think we'll do this eye first. Ooh. You guys see that? How pigmented that is? That's impressive. I'm gonna be going for a lot of colors here. But the next thing that, or color that I want to use, we'll go in with this new brush here. Um, I'm thinking let's do red next. And we are gonna go in with the shade Paradise. So this red here on the bottom. So this is definitely not a Neutrals Lovers palette, but if you guys like color, this would be a good option. I'm going in now and adding that red. Might not be the best brush for that. Let me try a different brush here. I think it's just a brush. Yep, it was just a brush. That's super pretty. A little bit of fallout there, but that's all right. You just kind of wipe it away. So, so far so good when it comes to the pigment, which I'm very happy about. All right, so we got our pink, we got our red. Next color that I wanna go to is I'm thinking maybe a yellow. So let's go in with abstract, which is this bright yellow right here. Ooh, that looks pigmented as well. I'm excited. Ooh. You guys know how sometimes you have to add like a couple of layers of yellow? Not this. She's looking good. All right, so there's the yellow. 
next <laughs> next color I am going to use is let's see here we haven't done orange let's do a art deco which is right here and that is a shimmer shade as well Oh wow, that is gorgeous. All right, now I am just gonna go with a blending brush here and just kind of blend all of these out. Gonna go back in here just a little bit and fix that pink that we used. Okay, and then I am gonna go in there and just kind of go over that red just a little bit more. All right, guys. So there's one eye. So far, so good. Next, we're going to go over to this eye here, and let's start with green. I want to do this really deep green right here, and it's called Bold Type. So this one right here matches my nails. Try this way. about who's weed eating outside my window right about now. That brush is just giving me a little bit of problems. It might be just a little bit too big. Let me try a smaller brush here. All right, try this again here. Could just be the brush's fault. Try this way. That green is not wanting to work with me. I don't know, maybe I added too much eye primer. That could be a good reason. Ooh, you guys see that? That's pretty though. Let's just try going in with my finger and we'll have to just clean it up afterwards. There we go. I bet you I added too much eye primer. So I am gonna have to go back and clean up my eyes a little bit, but there's that green, that is super pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with, of course you guys know, another new brush. And I'm gonna go in with this blue down here. This blue is called Iconic, right there. I bet you guys, I just, my primer, I added too much of it, and that's why I'm getting this problem with this eye, because this eye worked fine, this eye too many problems. Of course, this is my problem eye, as I call it. We will just layer, there we go. So this eye is definitely not going to be perfect, but it's it's fine. It's fine. Now I'm going in with, of course, another new brush. And let's try, mm, so many pretty purples in here too. You know what, let's try Majestic, which is this purple up here. See what that does for us. Oh, that's showing up. All right, 
so there's that purple guys I am gonna go in and just kind of fix my this eye a little bit it's a little bit sloppy so I apologize about that but I think it's my fault I think I just used too much primer And then go back in with that green here. I'll try this brush again. There we go. And I am, of course, going to blend it out with this blending brush here. A little bit of fallout, but fallout doesn't really bother me. They are blending out really, really nice. I just noticed a spot that I had missed. Oh boy, that did not help matters. I just totally messed up my eye. Shadow. All right, now I look cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here. <laughs> Let me go in with that dark blue and just kind of pat over that one spot where I accidentally added some purple. Hmm. Let me get out this brush here. Just for these situations here, I got this brush here. And it helps with color. There we go. And I'm just gonna, whoops, wrong color. Lightly going with this here, my finger just kinda. There we go, that's much better. When in doubt, use your finger. All right, sorry guys, now I'm gonna try blending that out again. Okay, so, this eye looks a little bit crazy, and what I'm gonna do is just take a fluffy brush here, and we are just gonna wipe a lot of that away. Now it looks like I have a black eye here. Oh goodness. All right, overall, not bad, not bad at all. Guys, I'm gonna clean up my eyes off camera real quick, and I'll be back with my final thoughts on this palette. And I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, I went in and cleaned up my eyes, and I also added the uh, Jeffree Star Velvet Trap in the shade Hot Commodity to my lips, just because I figured this eye looks already bold enough. Why not go with a bold lipstick? So let's talk about this palette. So it's ColourPop, so it's pretty affordable, which is awesome. The packaging, pretty, love it. Insert in here. Um, comes with a variety of bright, fun colors. Pigment's definitely there. Blendability is definitely there as well. I think you could probably create a pretty decent neutral look with this too. I really do. Um, if you guys like bright colors too, this is the palette for you. I like this palette a lot, guys, and I'm definitely gonna be using it a lot more now to try it out, try out some fun looks with it. I like this salon a lot. So that is it guys for me. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna head out and I will see you guys soon with another new video.